Welcome back to the zone, everyone. Through the fall, the most important day of the week on the Columbia City football calendar is Friday. But not this week. Tomorrow, the Eagles and the Columbia City community will come together in a show of support for one of their own. Senior Sam Daly suffered a traumatic brain injury in the season opener. Following emergency surgery and several weeks of rehab, Sam is back at home and continuing his long journey back towards a sense of normalcy. That's why we have these shirts tonight in our studio. Not just as a show of support, but to get the word out. These shirts are available for purchase online at doitfordaily.org with all proceeds going to the Daly family. Tomorrow, friends and family and supporters will come together again for another benefit for Sam at the Whitley County 4-H Fairgrounds. This event is from 4 to 9 p.m., and all proceeds from the event will go to the Daly family. Daly's Eagles looking for a big win on the road visiting Carroll. And before the game, the Chargers presenting the Daly family a check for nearly $5,000 that was raised by the student body. Classy move by the Chargers. First quarter at sevens of Carroll. Trevor Bolt, the nice game, but wouldn't be too much coming from the Carroll or the Columbia City offense tonight, rather. Later in the quarter, Chandler Boggs to Tyler Winkle. John, he finds the end zone. It's 14 zip Chargers. Later in the half, Columbia City kicking it to Blake Schumacher. They come back to regret this. Look at how many tackles he breaks. There's one. Two, three, shifty as he cuts back. Four, five, six. And when it was all said and done, he would take this one to the house. 21 zip at that point. Carroll rolls 56 to nothing. The big kahuna in the NHC in Kendallville tonight. Unbeaten New Haven visiting a dangerous East Noble team. First quarter, and the Knights going on the ground to Brandon Mabel, and that was a good decision. Around the end, he goes all the way down to the 17-yard line. That would set up a 33-yard field goal moments later by Jared Tenders, and it's three-zip East Noble. But if some is good, more is better, and New Haven would loom that the hard way as Mabel would find the end zone yet again. It was 10-zip with less than two to play in the first, and East Noble puts a massive wrench into the NHC race and hands New Haven its first loss, 30-6. to Upsets were in vogue in the NHC tonight. Norwell hosting Homestead down in Ossie in first quarter. Homestead's drive is halted by a Brody Myers interception. And the Knights feeling tranquil after that one. Pearson Harnish, what a night for the Norwell quarterback. Hits Nathan Burrows. Takes this one in for the first score today with less than 30 to play in the first quarter. Seven zip Knights. But Homestead doing like Homestead does and answers offensively. Logan Ornsby keeps it and brings it in from a few yards out. That would tie it up. And then Homestead would march right back down the field on their next possession. John Lark finds the end zone. Spartans held on to the lead briefly, but it's Norwell coming up with the upset. 28-26 the final. In the ACAC, no one has been able to figure out Leo this season. Third place Garrett coming off hanging 49 points on South Adams. Maybe? Just maybe, and early on, Garrett on the move, but Tanner Banks picked off by Chris Horn, and Horn would blow this one wide open, takes it all the way back to the 38-yard line, and the Lions wouldn't waste the great field position because moments later, the quarterback, Jordan Hisson, calls his own number and takes this one in, a 31-yard jaunt to the end zone, 21-7 to at that point with three minutes to go in the third quarter. Still in the third, just seconds left. And guess who? Logan Leiter this time. 34 yards. He punches it in 28 to 7. Leo remains unbeaten in conference. They roll Garrett 35 to 7. Well, each week our sponsor Meyer is giving away a $50 gift card. You can go to Wayne.com, click on the contest page to sign up. And this week, eight winner is Sue David of Fort Wayne. Davis, excuse me. Sue gets a $50 gift card from Meyer. Stay tuned. We've got more highlights on, including play of the week coming up next. We're in the Huntington North Vikings. Stay tuned for more Highlight Zone. Ah!